Hi, Mally Bierman. Now, I told you the other day a story about a dog, a talking dog, who was for sale for only $20. Why? Because the dog lied. And then I told you about lying. And I shared with you some experiences in my life as a healthcare practitioner where I definitely lied by omission to some clients. Now, I want to talk to you a moment about lying and how it impacts you. When I am working with people, and I do muscle testing, I'm a specialized kinesiologist, that means you know, hold out your arm, if the answer is yes, your circuits are turned on, everything's wired accurately, no matter how hard I press, can't get that down. If something's awry, the circuit's either turned off or it's only partially turned on, I do the same kind of pressure, arm will go down. You can do this with any muscle in your body. What happens when a person lies, no matter if they're a Mr. Universe, when they tell a lie, that arm's going straight down. Why? Because when you say something that you know isn't true, you're weakening yourself. You're throwing your circuits off. You're flipping them off. So you can see that when you're telling a lie, even if you have the most wonderful of intentions, you are still impacting your own well-being. Now, when I was growing up, my mom was a widow. And this was in the 50s when women didn't work outside the home. So she worked very hard, practically all the time, even on the weekends, to be able to support my brother and me and my bubby, her mom, who lived with us during much of the year. Now, because she was never there, and because she didn't want to let me know that she had to work all the time to make all that money, she let me think that she liked her work more than she liked me. She would not tell me that she had to work all that time to make the money to give us our home and our food and my music lessons and everything else. Rather than worry me because that's what she was afraid would happen, I was a little kid, she let me believe something that was completely untrue. That not until I was growing up and looked back on the time we spent together could I see how deeply she loved me. But it doesn't matter when you're a little kid and you tell your mom you love your work more than me and she doesn't question that or explain, you know, that can set some things going kind of cuckoo inside your thought process. And I also learned some other things. When I had a stray cat or a stray dog or I went in a pool in the yard, my mom would go through rather elaborate ruses to make sure that I knew, oh, the ground was too soft for a pool or the animals would just disappear because she didn't want to tell me she couldn't afford this or she couldn't afford that. When you're at the receiving end of something that's not true and you don't understand the real reason behind what's going on, you can have all kinds of crazy, crazy interpretations that are nowhere near accurate. So before you tell a lie to somebody, think about how is that going to impact you? It's totally going to weaken you. How is it going to impact the person to whom you're speaking the lie? How is it going to impact those in your environment? In fact, before you do anything in your life, think about what does this mean for me and for every person who will be touched by my decision? You live in a world with other people. Oh, and please remember, go in down below, click like or above, and share this message because I guarantee there are people in your world who aren't being truthful with themselves or with you. And what's that doing to your relationship, to your family, to your community? I'm Allie Beerman, and I will see you next time.